Hey everybody, Peek and Joy here, and uh, this is going to be the first in a long series of video blogs that I'm going to be doing um, in regards to my transition and my journeys and all the stuff that I'm always doing out here. And so uh, this is going to be also my last post that I'm going to put up on Tommy T's Facebook page. Um, I may jump in there once in a while uh, to post some things for those that maybe aren't wanting to follow this journey but don't want to lose contact and haven't unfriended me, and I appreciate that. Um, and for those that are in that place where you're not sure, you know, what to make of this, what to do, uh, how to navigate it, that's okay. Um, I'm hoping to kind of address that a little bit in this video. And so hopefully you'll have the opportunity to be able to uh, maybe understand a little bit more as to what's going on. So again, this will be my last post on Facebook. If you want to follow me any further, look at me over on Tegan Joy's page, T-E-G-A-N-J-O-Y and uh, all my regular updates and everything will be going on there. So in moving forward, um, this is something that I've known my whole life. Um, it's something that I've struggled with, but not deeply as I've lived kind of a pretty good balance. Uh, anybody that's known me a long time, has known me very closely, knows uh, that I've always expressed my feminine side, that I've always engaged that, um, you know, did drag when I was younger uh, a lot, and then as I got older, it kind of subsided a bit, but I've always embraced this side of me, and I've always known this ever since I was a child. Um, I've always felt like I was in the wrong body, didn't know what to do with that, and so for a long time, just kind of pushed it off to the side a little bit and learned to, you know, live as Tommy, which is uh, what a lot of girls out there do, and guys for that matter, that are going through gender dysphoria. Well, my journey uh, over the last few years has been a struggle. Um, not many have known this. I've not made it very public. But prior to coming up to Kripalu and doing the volunteer program, um, right at the end of my travels in, in uh, 2012 into 2013, um, from my big tour around the U.S. doing the concrete thing, um, I had uh, a serious depression and a serious social anxiety set in. And it's not something that I told much of anybody about, um, didn't really speak to anybody about it. It was something I was just kind of going through myself trying to figure out. <clears throat> What I learned was that was my spirit telling me that it was time for a change, that it was time to not live, not so much a lie, because I am who I am and I've always been me, I've always been happy being me, I'm still happy being me. Um, I'm just in a place now where it's time to fully be me and express the person that has always been deeper inside. And uh, so that depression and that anxiety didn't go away. Um, I got into Connecticut, worked for my brother for a while, and thought that maybe stopping the travels and resting for a bit would help, um, having a little bit of community in my life again, that maybe I'd come back to that place. And it didn't happen. Um, it wasn't something that, uh, that just went away. And I finally realized that this is my spirit telling me that it's time for a change, but I had no idea what that change was. Um, it's the reason that I went to Kripalu, I, I, I sold everything again, um, completely went down to the bare minimums, everything that I owned fit in my Jeep when I went to Kripalu. And uh, through the whole program, I really looked deep inside of myself trying to find what in the hell my spirit was trying to tell me because I didn't understand. I, I, didn't, I didn't get it. You know, I knew something was going on. I knew a change was coming. Um, I've been through a lot of changes in my life. I've been through a lot of things in my life, very enjoyable, uh, some hard. And, uh, but this was one that I knew was going to be big because of the fact that, that uh, I just wasn't doing well. And that's not me. I've never been depressed. I've never been in I've had social anxiety. Um, it's just not been me. So I knew this was my spirit telling me something big. So through the whole program, I really looked deep at myself and uh, really couldn't find the answer. Um, it was still hiding from me, even though it was right in plain sight. All the things that I was doing, um, for the most part, leaving the concrete industry, getting into massage school, um, going to the program itself, was all things that were really a softer place in my world. And, uh, you know, again, it was right there in front of me and I didn't see it. And it was my friend Vanessa um, that I met, who's also a trans woman, wonderful spirit. 
and uh, she kept giving me a bad time. Uh, we became good friends when I got up here to Massachusetts, and she kept saying, oh, girl, you are so going to transition. And I'm like, you know, no, my life is good. I, I don't see that as being a part of it. Um, yes, it's something that, that I've always kind of felt, but, um, you know, I didn't know that I needed to go through that. And uh, she asked me one day, she said, if friends, family, society, uh, work, all of that stuff didn't matter for we're all to be a positive experience, would you transition? And I thought about it and I thought, you know, yeah, I would. Um, in fact, I didn't have to think about it for very long. It came pretty quickly. And that was a sign to me. That was really the, the moment. And this was back in, oh, probably February or March, I think, February-ish. Um, and that made me stop for a minute. And I had to go, wow, boy, if that answer came that quick, maybe this really is something I need to look at. You know, I hadn't really thought about it for a lot of years. Um, up until my early 20s, I pretty much had determined I was going to have the operation and change and be who, you know, I knew I was inside. So after answering that question, um, I really started thinking about this. And it took a few months going back and forth, really looking at my life and thinking about all the things that were going to change, the friends I was going to lose, the family that I might lose. Um, how is work going to be, all of those kind of things. Now I'm paying for massage school. What's it going to be like to be a transgender woman giving massage? Is, is, am I going to be able to make a living doing that? And uh, ultimately, all those things, it came to the point where it didn't matter. I decided, you know what, I'm, I'm, I can't be unhappy anymore. And I looked at all the little things in my life, and they led me to realize yeah, this was what was holding me back. This is what was causing the depression and, and causing the anxiety. And the moment that I made the decision of, wow, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to do this, the depression and the anxiety literally fell away. Um, I have not been in a better place in my life in a long time. And that's pretty interesting considering all the diversity that, you know, being a boy in a dress at this moment, um, what that brings in life and all the things that I have to deal with. I had trouble walking out to go to the grocery store and just do some shopping and uh, um, back before this and, and you know, that was the anxiety. Now I can walk all over the place and I don't care. It doesn't matter. I'm, I'm so secure in being me now um, that those those things out there that should be, can be and are sometimes scary, don't scare me enough. Um, not enough to not be me. Not enough to make me stay inside my home like it was before. There was moments I couldn't leave. So um, I've begun this transition. I've begun to find myself more, um, which is difficult because the, the person that I've been for a long time has defined pretty much as a roughneck guy. Um, my concrete world, my biker club, uh, everything that I've done has been very masculine and, and uh, this feminine side is not expressed very much, at least not to the outward world. And so it's interesting now trying to find um, inside this, this woman that has been waiting there for a long time to be able to have her space in this world. So as I move forward, um, I've started my hormones. I'm almost three months in now. My body is beginning to change. Um, my mind is beginning to change. I'm starting to have different feelings and emotions. Um, they're definitely more at the surface than they've ever been, which is wonderful. I love that. I love it, being able to feel my emotions. And those of you that know me know that I feel my emotions, so you can imagine how I'm, how I'm feeling now. So if you're not comfortable with this, if you don't understand it, I understand. Um, if you need to move on and move out of my life, I understand. It makes me sad because most everybody out there I had a connection with. Um, your people in my life, if you're on my Facebook page or you're in my life, it's because I had a connection with you. So if you can't get this, that's okay. You know, I, I, I understand and I hold nothing against you if you need to move on. Um, I would hope that you would understand who I am as a person. None of that changes. My looks change. My body's going to change, obviously. Um, but who I am as a person in my core, in my heart and soul, doesn't change. I'm this person that you've always known. And uh, I'll be that person that you've always known. So I hope you'll come along on my new journey with me. Um, I hope that you can look past everything that you see and look in here 
know where I am and know who I am and know what you've meant to me as a friend and that I want to keep you in my life. Um, hopefully that will happen. And if not, again, that's okay. You know, I wish you the best and I hope joy for you in your life. And I hope that you can continue to live your authentic self or find your authentic self. I know that there's many out there that hide behind a lot of masks because I know that I did. And uh, life's too short to do that. I sure as hell ain't doing it anymore. It's time to go enjoy my life and truly express and be me without having to worry about anything. So with that said, I'm going to end this video because everybody knows I get really long-winded and I don't want to do that here. Um, let's see. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to contact me. Um, you can message me here. I will answer on Tommy T's page for a bit. You can message me on Tegan Joy's. Call me if you've got my phone number. I really do want to share this with people if they want to know about it. I want them to help under help you to understand what I'm going through. Um, and help you to understand this world a little bit more, the world of, of transgender and gender dysphoria. Um, I know I'm learning a lot about it myself, and uh, it's been very big for me. So know, uh, know that A, this is not just something I decided to do. This is not uh, because I want to wear girls' clothing. It's not because I'm gay. Uh, there's a whole lot of stereotype bullshit out there that comes along with, with people that are uh, making transition. You know what, if you got questions, ask me. I'd be happy to tell you uh, some answers and help you to understand this. Um, I guess that's it for now. So I look forward to hearing from any of you. Uh, for those that have maybe struggled with, with this, you know, I hope to see you continue your time in my life. And for those that are going to move on, know that I love you. Know that I'll always think of you. And uh, maybe someday, you know, we'll come back and touch again. So for now, enjoy life and uh, talk to you later. Jai Bhagwan. Namaste. Take care.